Hello everyone, it's Rad and uh, welcome to the channel, welcome to Rad Kutarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and uh, Gemini Rising weekly tarot reading for March 4th to uh, March 10th, 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that that is going to be a general reading for Gemini star sign and for that reason is going to resonate in a different way and uh, in a different level with every single different Gemini's. So for that purpose in this video, <clears throat> I will try my best here to explain you the meanings uh, of the cards and as well, you know, their synergy in the spread. But uh, ultimately you will have to align this general reading uh, with your personal situation just so you can make uh, the reading on a more personal level. Now, if you want me to do that for you, or in other words, to um, analyze your personal situation through tarot and to give you prediction uh, for the future, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, uh, you can check out my website, which uh, by the way is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. <clears throat> and so, Going to the spread, now this is going to be a four card tarot spread um, and the first card that we do have for you, this is going to be the, the Knight of Cups, which is the topic of your Gemini's week. The second card that we do have for you, that is going to be the Eight of Wands, <clears throat> which is the things that you should not do regarding the topic or that is the bad approach or rather like the things that you should well yeah the things that you should not do throughout the week the third card that is the positive approach toward the situation or the things that you should do throughout the week or regarding the topic here that will be the hierophant and the last one this is going to be the page of pentacles which is the final outcome uh, the final yeah outcome of growth should you follow the guidance here from uh, these couple of cards. So the first one, once again, Knight of Cups. Second one, that is to be the Eight of Wands. Third card for you, that is to be the Hierophant. And the last one that we do have, that is to be the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> so, there are two ways that we can take a look at this reading. Uh, the most, uh, not abstract, but the most narrow way that we can take a look at this reading is that um, basically throughout this week, uh, you can uh, develop a, a more than a friendship type relationship with the person around you. I say you can develop, not that you should develop. I'm saying that you can develop. That is very important. <clears throat> that is on the more the, the most narrow way that we that then we that we can um, interpret uh, those cards. Although if that's your case, uh, it will require from you a little bit of a research and as well kind of like um, a conversations in between you two uh, before you actually commit into something deeper. But in the grand scheme of things, uh, this week is gonna be um, a very consistent in a sense of that you will have to put a, a hard work behind the week itself. Now, the first card that we do have, this is the Knight of Cups and that most likely refer to a person, that it is your topic. So a person who is uh, probably young and imaginative, uh, that person thinks that the world is brought down into their knees now, the good thing about that person is that they don't rely on luck. Uh, basically, the results that they are achieving, the results that they are kind of like um, <clears throat> making happen, or the results yeah, that they are making happen, are because this person toiled a lot. Basically, they, they put the necessary... Um, <clears throat> the necessary performance and actions behind uh, behind their results. Now, I do believe that this person is all about being emotionally connected with you in one way or another, because this is how the reading goes forward. But also that could be a business partnership as well. It's just less likely. 
but it is not impossible to be so. The thing is that <clears throat> this person appears to you, Gemini's, to make you aware that you are using, you are not using, excuse me, a talent of yours, um, either into um, lot one, uh, one in interactions with other people or either into one career. Uh, basically, you can be much more efficient when it comes to either flirting or dating with somebody. Uh, or with guys or women you know, or when incorporating into uh, your career. Uh, the accompanied card here that is going to be the Eight of Cups. Are uh, we definitely talking about un undiscovered pot uh, potential of yours, <clears throat> which this person is gonna help you uncover. And uh, this potential basically uh, throughout the week that you are going to uncover in yourself is gonna allow you to chase greater heights and better options available. So that is a very favorable week here that uh, if you are feeling stuck and especially if you are feeling that things are really not going in your way in many, uh, in many fields like relationship, you know, like career as well and etc. etc. With these two cards passive uh, supportatives to one another <clears throat> The more you follow the example, we are not talking here about an advice, but we are talking about an example of this person, the more you are going to realize that the best is yet to come and that uh, basically the poignant experience can and should be left in the past. Basically what these cards here really are saying to you, uh, Gemini's, is that even though the situation of yours right now, in this very moment, may be unsatisfiable the very least or misfortune the very um you know or misfortune by following the example of uh, this person which example should be something like i do what i can and whatever you know should happen should happen you will see that a a much brighter better and uh, basically exhilarating perspective is to emerge for you sooner than you think. So it's basically the way I can uh, the way I can interpret these cards in the grand scheme of things is that <clears throat> this person that comes around will help you to get back on track with your life, with uh, your routine, with your career, with your relationship life as well, etc., etc. So that could be a suitor of your behalf. It could be a very good partnership into your business or it could be as well a support from a coworker that is helping you to uncover a slumbered skills of, a skill of yours. Um, it's not even a slumbered one, but it's more like an utilized one. So you are very aware of what you can do, it's just you're not incorporating it right now. For example, you may know that you are very attractive, but you don't rely on it at this very moment. You may know that you are good at making math, but you don't do it at this very moment. So basically this person is gonna show you that you have to, it's not teaching, it's not teaching, it's more like showing that you have to take advantage of every single thing and quality you have in order to get the upper hand in your environment in, and in your daily routine as well. But once again, the appearance of this person could come in many different gazes, could be sweeter showing that you are more attractive than you thought you are once again it could be a business partner uh, showing you that your ideas are not as bad as you think they are and so on and so forth now the next card that we do have this is going to be the eight of wands and that is how you should not approach that situation and the eight of wands here is pointing that you should not approach that situation with haste and without any calculative actions. Basically, um, you need to approach it with clear vision and clear determination. While this person comes around and their example is good, what they work for them may not necessarily work for you with the same extent. So <clears throat> as much as you're gonna see example from them, that doesn't mean that you should follow their steps if i may say that way a hundred percent but you need to find your own way to incorporate yourself or to make your self-expression visible to the world with the eights of ones this is a high risk high reward type of card and as following into the negative position then that means gemini that no risks should be taken throughout the week 
but rather approach everything by making, uh, making your research about it. While it is a good to follow his example, the example of this, uh, of this person, also, how can I place it? The example should be the grand scheme of things. For example, uh, that person shows you that they can push a, a very difficult thing through. That means that you can do it as well, but not with the same strategy that that person is using. So kind of like adopt your own strategy, incorporate your own signature into the matters that you are going to try to finalize throughout the week. And if we're talking about a suitor, an appearance of a person who is really charming, because this one is gonna be quite charming, uh, the negative aspect of the Knights of uh, Cups is that they kind of like talk too much in the sense of that um, they're a bit daydreamy and they may promise you something that they may not be able to fulfill. That's why the Eight of Wands is um, advising you here into this position not to, uh, not to believe into Celia Lloyd's statements first and second, always stick to the rational explanations as well and uh, the rational actions that you can take toward either one person or toward either one project. The uh, additional card that we do have for you, Geminis, this is going to be the Knight of uh, Pentacles, and what we form here that are going to be the active neutrals, the shade that the Knight <clears throat> incorporates into the uh, into the Eight of Wands basically tells you one thing, better slow and steady than sorry, or better slow and late than being sorry. So do not rush whatever comes in your way because and it, it, uh, let's be fair here, Geminis, uh, the appearance of that person or uh, the fact that this person is gonna step out and display themselves and make themselves and as an example, is truly gonna boost your confidence and uh, gosh, you will want to just take on the world at that point. And while you can do so, it will be awesome, guys, if you do it carefully. So you have to be careful with approaching your suitor. You gotta be as well careful with approaching your new business partner in case that's, uh, that's your situation throughout the week or also you have to be careful when approaching a certain project because once again what we said about the, the Knights of Cups is that nothing happens by a chance but you, actu but, but you actually have to work for it, okay? So the very least that you can do is to ask yourself, does the efforts I am to throw into this thing justifies the results that I'm gonna get? Because that will not be the case for every one of you. Maybe this week or the topic of this week happens just so you become aware that you are capable of much more many things, but it doesn't mean that you should start these things throughout this week. Maybe the time isn't favorable for you right now, which could be as well the case having the eight of wands here as it is the speed up irrational decisions in a negative position and so on and so forth. So it will be best here, what, my, what I'm trying to say is it, it will be best if you first create yourself a plan <clears throat> and answer to yourself the question, does the efforts are gonna justify the results instead of prematurely making any actions and frantically trying to seize an opportunity, which in, in this case haven't been, gro it is not grown enough uh, for you to uh, actually develop in something productive. The next card that we do have for you, Geminis, this is going to be the Hierophant card, and that is the <clears throat> positive approach toward the situation. And the Hierophant points that you need to cancel yourself with this person, with the people around you as well, with those who already have been there where you're trying to go. What you need to know is that your worries, your insecurities, and above everything else, your problems are, are going to be resolved in the framework of already existing convictions, which means that only thing that you need to do in order to resolve all those issues or your issues which are going to be an issue of trust, by the way, having the uh, Hierophant, <clears throat> only thing that you need to do is just ask and seek for advice, seek for a counsel, 
from someone that, like I said, already have been there, like a parent of yours or a business advisor. This card could refer as well to therapeutic help as well and so on and so forth. Important thing, however, when it comes to relationship and I am a kind of like a leaning more toward relationship because these cards are, are more favorable that what is to happen is about emotional connection is that you should you should stall the situation with this new suitor of yours or uh, this guy that really wants to catch up your attention or your partner for that matter at this point until you don't define for yourself that you trust them completely because the hierophant talking about relationships is all about trust. There is nothing about love with this card. It is all about trust. It is all about reliability. It is all about security. So before you jump into a relationship, before you make a relationship or before you proceed with one relationship throughout this week, you have to answer to yourself those questions. Am I secured enough with this person? Do I trust them enough? And is this person reliable enough? Okay, and the answer to those questions are going to uh, tell you what you need to do from now on. The Empress uh, here as a uh, <clears throat> catalyst card adds the shade of um, passive supporters. And basically with the appearance of this card, you need to bet on the long term, uh, on the long term uh, undertaking. So in another words, if a suitor comes around uh, before you actually, how can I place it, escalate that relationship, you need to be sure that they are ready to go in a long-term relationship with you, that this is not an overnight thing, this is not a thing for one week, this is not a thing born from passion, but it should be a thing born from mutual reliability and as well mutual trust. Not to mention that if you are feeling overwhelmed by the situation itself and what that week wants from you in general, or it's especially if you do need to make any decision, if the decision is going to be that difficult, guys, because you have to decide, should I follow the example of this person or should I not follow their example? It will benefit you a lot if you just detach a bit from the situation, from the midst of activity, you know, so uh, you can make your mature decision how you should proceed from now on and uh, any further. But whatever your decision is, that decision needs to be supported by an, an, uh, a long-term plan of your behalf. So once again, this week, Geminis, you got to bet on the secure horse or rather like your bet needs to be um, not a risky one, but rather a, a secured um a secure investment, either emotional investment or either material investment as well. So the last card that we do have, uh, this is going to be the final outcome for of growth for you. And this is the page of pentacles. And this is the card in combination with the uh, knight of cups, which is telling that that could this person could be a friend of yours approaching you with the what was the English word here, guys? Uh, with the revelation, it's not revelation. Admission, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to use revelation. That they are, are kind of like accepting you as something more than a friend. It's no different than, you know, being in a friendship circle when you secretly like a woman or a man more than just being friend and you secretly are hoping that they are doing the same thing for you. So something like this. But with the page, again, it's very important that this thing have a, a potential for a long-term uh, relationship. That being said, even if you are finding yourself very exhilarated by the opportunity here of making a relationship with someone that you already know, uh, that doesn't mean that you know how they are going to act and how they are going to behave in general when they are not in a friendship type of relationship with you, but in a, um, in a romantic type of relationship with you. So that's why you got to put them under a test. You got to test them. You got to test their um, reliability. Once again, you got to test their sense of security. And as well, you got to test their trust or 
you got to put them under a test so you can see, can you trust them or can you not trust them? But all in all, the page uh, <clears throat> at the end is a clear sign that if you follow the guidance of the cards here, your efforts are gonna be justified with the results that you are going to get. <clears throat> and uh, the accompany card here to the page, this is going to be the Six of Swords. So uh, what we do have here is passive enemies. And basically these cards are pointing that there won't be anything fearful for you moving on forward from this milestone here with the page where you realize that your efforts are going to be justified by the results that you're going to get. There won't be any hesitation from you that you actually, what you did was worth it following the advice of this person uh, or not the advice, but the guidance of this person really worth uh, it, it worth your while. And um, there won't be any shenanigans throughout the way. Basically, your path is cleared. It is the best way that I can say it. You have cleared your path to reach your goal. The goal that this person gave you as an, an example. That could be a goal of a relationship once again. That could be a goal of uh, finalizing a project. It could be a goal of starting a business. But the whole reading leans more toward emotionally connected goal which to me, if I have to be fair, if that was a your personal reading, I straight away would have said that there is someone coming around for you that will truly like you. Uh, for a certain period of time, that is, it will seem that you are everything they have ever wanted because the Knight of Cups always goes with the dreams of his heart. And as he comes to you, that means that you are the dream of his heart, at least at that point, okay? So, but just because you are the dream of his, of his heart, excuse me, that means that he is, is ready to do whatever it takes to enthrall you. And that includes lying or over-exaggerating uh, a certain statements, okay? So he may exaggerate um, a promise that they may not be able to keep. And that's why you should not throw yourself straight away into it, but first test their, um, their trust or how, much, how trustworthy they can be. And at the end, regardless of the results, you are going to see that your efforts were justified by the results. So that being said, Gemini's, this was your uh, weekly tower reading uh, for March 4th to March 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, that was a general reading for Gemini star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and a different level for every single different Gemini's. Uh, if you want a uh, reading on a more personal touch, meaning that your personal situation is analyzed by me through tarot cards, that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services of private readings and their pricings as well. Rat signing up now, see you next time. Bye!